Hi guys, it's Anna here. So in today's video we are going to paint this little vulture. It's going to be a digital... It's a digital painting, so um, I use the Procreate in iPad. So in this first step, first of all, I, I chose a, a photo from Pinterest. I'll leave the link in the description. And I started sketching out this fella. And then I, I I went for the eye because if you if you get the high right usually it's it's really what matters the most and I tried to be um, kind of detailed with with it so it can look a little a little more realistic and um, it captures the attention of the of who's watching. And then I went for the, the area surrounding the high that should be also sort of realistic and for the beak. As you, you'll see in the end, uh, everything looks kind of unfocused except the eyes, so it really grabs your attention. Um, all you have to do is look at the reference photo as I always say and see where's darker, where's lighter and use well, in this case, it's digital and you can use, like, <laughs> the real color because you probably have it. Um, you can also use the pick up... Th that tool that picks up the color in some place and use it. Um, if you import the photo reference for your, for your canvas, I didn't do that. I chose my colors as I pleased and somewhat like the photo reference. In here I am using like, this is <laughs> kind of weird, but I am using like um, a hair brush that comes with the app. I didn't buy any any other brushes. Um, I'm using the the hair um, uh, brush to 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 do this kind of feathery thing because it, it kind of the, it's so soft that it, it really kind of looks like hair so I tried it and I, I liked how it turned out so um, I kept doing it um, so uh, since the the bird is very light and the colors are very light the colors I'm using I changed the color of the background so I could see exactly what I was painting it would give me <laughs> it looks very weird in here and th and those random uh, bold lines that sometimes appear is like my fingers uh, um, going through the screen and it, it, it associates with it um, that it's a brush stroke but it's not it's just my finger so I I go back so I'll be using this air air uh, brush and trying to you really have to pay attention to the reference photo see where are the darker the darker parts the lighter parts and in this case um, now, I, now I, I switched back the, the background that's really cool when you're doing digital you can really do that change the, the, the background a lot and see all these and here I am I'm <laughs> like making a background um, this is the one that end up staying but I like the gray one better now I'm editing it and I like the gray one better but this is the one I, I chose to stay um, I'll be using so now I'm going to work more on the feathers on the body so the neck still needs some contrast this is a very it's like a unique <laughs> color and it really needs to um, to differentiate and make shadows and whatnot and some texture so right now i'm i'm working on these crazy feathers yes and i'm now cr carving his body this is like it's called negative painting that part there where i carve the black feathers of his body to show the form of the the white feathers there i am like <laughs> refining things and um, now that the mid values are in, you can really know where you need to darken things more 
or brighten things more so because your eye goes after the contrast and a, con a contrast is a very important thing in in a piece uh, so that's what I'll be doing now I'll be just adding some contrasts um, everywhere like not not everywhere where it makes sense and where it's not dark enough comparing to your photo reference you can also try to change things if you want and I'm just adding a few more things and of course the highlights I leave the highlights always for the, the last um, so this is then I then I experiment different backgrounds just I'll leave it a little bit here so you can see how much we can change things with a background and how easy it is with um, with digital work it's not <laughs> like that in uh, traditional work so it's almost done so if you like this video please give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see when I post other videos click the bell not uh, button if you want to be notified and stay safe out there see this gray background is absolutely gorgeous and it, 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 it gets it gets more contrasty I like it <laughs> till next time bye bye